Expensive but well equipped, the 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLS could use a new infotainment system. The Mercedes GLS isn't quite the automaker's most prestigious SUV that would be the crazy, planar G-Class still. The GLS has to sell against Range Rovers and Escalades, so Mercedes doesn't hold back on the features or options it's stocked fully and offers some customization, but its infotainment confuses us and its warranty is just average. It's an 8 in this category. Unchanged for the new model year, the 2018 GLS gets standard power features, automatic climate control, a power driver seat, a power tailgate, remote start, cruise control, a common infotainment interface and an 8.4-inch display screen, as well as synthetic leather interior options on the base trims includes around view cameras, bang and amp, a Lufsen audio, cooled front seats, a power second row seat, heated second row seats, a panoramic sunroof, and a trailer hitch and off-road package adds a reduction gear and a locking center differential. Various packages add keyless ignition, blind spot monitors, adaptive cruise control, navigation, ambient lighting, and AMG style bodywork with 21 inch alloy wheels the Komen system is an older, less useful infotainment interface than others we've sampled for example, the embedded Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems that can run on the GLS in lieu of the homebrew system Komen relies on and put to a control knob to dial around a non-touch screen, then requires a step outside of that environment to a connectivity suite to run smartphone and mobile apps.